This was the situation at St. George's Girls Secondary School. A group of immigrators arrived at the school, which has for months been used as a quarantine facility. Their goal was to fumigate the dining hall and the dormitories, which were previously used by persons suspected to have contracted the coronavirus. Apart from fumigating, hand washing stations and marks indicating social distance in common areas have been installed in readiness for the possible reopening any moment from now. The Nairobi Metropolitan Services, headed by Thomas Ogalo, has mentioned that it is just the beginning of the exercises which will be extended to other schools in Nairobi that were used as quarantine facilities. Uh, this is a very important exercise in preparation for opening the schools, uh, as regional directors indicated. This is the first of the many activities we are going to do as a Minister of uh, Health in Nairobi Metropolitan Services to make sure that uh, the children, when they come back to to, 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 the, to the schools, they are safe. We are here to assure the public that the government is serious about reinfection of schools. Dr. Obiero Jared has mentioned that all this is in the efforts to ensure the safety and well-being of the students as they report back to school. Part of our preparation for reopening, one of them, we, wa we want to make sure that all the 14 schools that were used as quarantine centers are fumigated, and this is the start. Today we are launching it here at St. George's, then we'll go to Moi Girls Kibra, and then next week we'll also visit others, including Lenana, Kenya High, uh, Nairobi School, uh, uh, Moi Forces Academy, Moi Forces Primary, Langata Barracks, uh, Pangani Girls. All of them are going to be fumigated. This move was supported by the head teacher, Lucy Rukunga, who asked parents not to have any fears or paranoia as they bring their children back to school. And basically, we are almost getting ready for the reopening. Then we intend uh, to also try to social distance them in the dormitories. It may be a challenge, but I believe we have uh, the dining halls that we can use to make sure that the girls are safe. The fumigation process is among the many preparations as we await the reopening of schools in a mid to ensure that all the students are safe as they return for classes. Reporting for Ebru TV, I'm Brian Odiambo.